Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here. You made it. You're watching at home. Thank you. Uh, hey, just so you guys know, while you were cheering, three more billionaires launched themselves into space. So isn't that... <laughs> yeah, it was an exciting day, because just after 9 o'clock this morning, Jeff Bezos flew to space aboard Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket. If you didn't see the launch, here it is. Go, Jeff. Go, Mark. Go, Wally. Go, Oliver. You are going to space. Yeah. <laughs> First Branson, now Bezos. Tomorrow, Warren Buffett is going to try to get up there with balloons like the old guy from Up. That's right, Bezos was launched into space, which is the natural career progression for anyone who starts an online bookstore. <laughs> Before his trip to space, Bezos said, I'm just really excited to figure out how it's going to change me. Well, here he is before the flight. Uh, and <laughs> this is real. Here he is after he landed. Uh, oh. <laughs> That's not real. I guess space turns you into Kenny Chesney. Yeah. I, know, I don't know what's... That's right, Bezos actually wore a cowboy hat for today's flight. Can we see it again? <laughs> you know you're rich when you put that on and everyone who works for you goes, oh, it looks great. Yeah. <laughs> you're a man of the people, just going to space. <laughs> Let me see it again one more. He, he, he looks like a mashup between Buzz Lightyear and Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he got the space suit and the cowboy hat together by searching for the midlife crisis bundle. <laughs> Is the soul patch too much? Uh, but Bezos wasn't alone. He was joined by three other people in the capsule. Here's everyone together. Yep. Uh, the first space crew to get their portrait done at Walmart. <laughs> they look like they're about to do the 245 show at the main pool at SeaWorld. Can I see it again? Let me see it. Hey. It looks like a portrait of Mr. Clean's family. Uh, the crew included an 82 year old pilot, Wally Funk, who became the oldest astronaut in history. And at one point, you could sort of tell. Uh, li listen, this is real. Let's get things started with the comm check. Astronaut Oliver, how do you read? Blue control, Ashton Oliver, loud and clear. Astronaut Bezos. Blue control, Bezos, I read you loud and clear. Astronaut Wally, how do you read me? Wally, uh, push the button and answer. <laughs> push the button until you can hear good. <laughs> and, and she almost pushed the launch button. Like, no, Wally, no, don't. I feel like every Zoom with Grandma. It's like, just push, push on mute. Push on, on. No, that's your camera. Don't you just call grandma. <laughs> well, a lot of people were talking about the shape of the rocket. Can we see a photo of it? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like, well, I mean, why would you design it like that? I just... Anyway, uh, let's just put 30 seconds on the clock and see how many jokes we can do here. Uh, you want to get in on this, Tariq? Oh, uh, you know it. All right, here we go. Uh, it's the only rocket that shrinks in the cold. Uh, they designed it at the Johnson Space Center. Uh, it looks like R2-D2 took some Viagra. <laughs> they don't keep it in a hangar. They keep it in the top drawer of a bedside table. Right after the launch, the rocket goes into sleep mode. <laughs> I'm surprised news channels didn't have to blur that. <laughs> Next stop, the ozone. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not that hard to get to space. <laughs> <laughs> well, it took a long time to erect it. <laughs> Guys. It looks, got, looks like someone undid their asteroid belt. <laughs> I got one. I got one. What? It looks like male genitalia. <laughs> oh. Wow. All right, changing gears. Um, <laughs> hey, this is fun. I saw that Disney just unveiled the first look at Joe Biden's robot at the Hall of Presidents. Oh. Check this out. Oh. They can't seem to master these, yeah? He looks like he opened a fridge and can't decide what to eat. <laughs> Activia, prunes, I don't know. It's not great, but can we take a look at Trump's? 
Well, there you are. You know, maybe, maybe, Biden, maybe Biden isn't so bad. <laughs> Uh, finally, on last night's episode of The Bachelorette, there was some pretty interesting scene uh, uh, between Katie and Mike P. We love The Bachelorette here on the show. Uh, but those scenes can get pretty emotional. So I thought that we could help. Here's a clip from the episode, revoiced with the least emotional person we know, Siri. This is Let's Get Serious. Let's Get Serious. She is a nurturer, and man, do I love nurturers. She reminds me of my mom. Your legs are soft. Oh, well. Thank you. Ha ha. My mom brings a nurturing touch to everything and every situation that she comes in contact with. Katie does the same thing. You remind me of my mom. Really? 